everybody, Shazoo is here. Uh, don't throw away nothing. Don't throw away your old microwaves or stoves or toasters or VCRs or any of that because there's all kinds of cool junk in there that you can make all kinds of stuff out of. I uh, got a uh, transformer out of a microwave, a high voltage transformer, and I cut it in half to make some U-shaped coils which make good electromagnets. They also make good... Uh, coils for making electricity, uh, windmills and that kind of stuff. And uh, it's real easy to make. Uh, electromagnet. Let me uh, roll this down here. Eww, there we go. Make an electromagnet. Do 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 do. Let me see if I can turn a little bit. Ah! I'm unplugging everything. Ah! All right, this is what I did right here. I took this coil right here and the wire that came off of the uh, original uh, uh, ew, I got a lost for words original microwave transformer. I uh, stripped all the wire off of that and then I began on one side. I taped it all up on the inside, put a layer of tape and then put a layer of tape there and then a layer of tape there. This is just so the sharp edges don't scratch up in there and keeps an insulator between the wire in case the natural insulation of the wire is no good. You don't want it shorting out and running your coil. Anyway, once you get all that taped up, then you start here, leave a little bit of strand out, you know, and then start winding it around on the inside. Do 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 do. Keep on going until you get it. Uh, probably I I went. About almost to half of the thickness of it is how much wire I put on there. I didn't really measure it out for any certain voltage or anything like that. I just wanted to make an electromagnet, test it out. It also uh, uses, you can use it to produce electricity just like a regular coil would, like a magnetron. And then you do the same thing the other side, and what you end up with is uh, something that looks similar to this right here. And uh, whenever you uh, connect your wires that you'll have two wires on each end of them you want to put uh, the two two of the wires together uh, sandpaper down the coating off the wires twist them together e there we go you'll have four wires total take your two uh, middle wires sand them off uh, sand off the coating and then twist those together and tape them up then you'll have two uh, other wires which are going to be your main power wires right here and then that's it you got a coil anyway let me show you how this thing works you got to see a similar one that I did the other day uh, using some of the pieces but I uh, got this little uh, ball bearing in there you can see it uh, fighting against each one of the coils they're fighting over the ball pretty neat huh you hear it move around in here Yeah, there, like I said, there's a whole lot of stuff that you can make using uh, parts of uh, appliance, old appliances that you didn't think were any good. Uh, you can get electric motors out of old stuff. That's I salvage just about everything uh, that uh, you see in my lab is salvage stuff from batteries to everything. Even if a battery's got one dead cell in it, you can still use it to uh, do your experiments. Mostly when it's got a dead cell and it's just because the uh, the amperage is too low to actually uh, do the turning over like your car or whatever. But it still has enough to run 12 volt motors and 12 volt stuff there. Anyway, I just want to make this short video. It's going to be one of many I'll probably make later on down the line so that I can show you different things that you can get stuff out of. Old electric motors, you can take the wire out of there. Um, I also used in, in the last video, you saw these two right here that I made. Those, uh, the wire that, that you see right here came out of that little electric motor that I just showed you. And these metal cores came off of the microwave transformer. So. Hmm, I must unhook myself here. There we go. 
And I don't know if this camera looks any better, but uh, I took my good camera out of the other room to see if it uh, has a better quality picture for my videos, so I'm trying to give you guys some better videos. If you need to know anything about how to make any of these uh, coils, uh, just give me a holler. You can call me on Skype, uh, Shaziz on Skype, and I can walk you step by step through it or whatever. Or send me an email, shaziz at yahoo.com, and uh, I'll help you out whatever you need. Um, I think that's pretty much all I got, other than uh, if this camera is better uh, quality, I sure as hell don't look any better because I need to shave and all that kind of jazz. <laughs> all right, well, this is Shaziz out in the Mad Science Laboratory. I'll give you a quick run across my lab here to see if... Uh, if it looks like it's any better picture quality, you've seen some of my videos, I hope, and uh, maybe you'll be able to tell me if my camera's doing better, if it's not skipping and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I made a uh, really good coil a couple days back. Uh, it's back in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's behind the big one. It look, looks like they got the little round toroid on the top of it. But, uh, anyway, I hope the video quality is better, and I'll make you some more videos. i got a lot of alternative energy stuff that I'm working on, and I uh, hope you stay tuned because uh, there's going to be some really cool stuff coming along. Uh, Shaziz has got a, a secret to show you, and you're going to love this one when I get to the grand finale. <laughs> of course, we're not there yet. Anyway, that's my lab uh, with the uh, good camera out of the other room. I hope that's uh, hope that looks better. It can't look any worse than I do. I need to comb my hair and shave off this beard. Peace, everybody. <laughs>